When I was uh, sort of 10, 11 years old, I started building model airplanes and, and then flyable ones. In the UK, there's a system of air cadets where you can join as a sort of 14, 15 year old and every two or three months go and have a, a flight in the back of a, a little light airplane. And that developed then. I went to university and did an aeronautics uh, degree. Um, started flying a bit more regularly and then joined the Royal Air Force at the end of that. I'd always had a desire to try and get into test flying and actually the, the main way of doing that is through one of the military schools and so I applied for that uh, and was selected. And actually I was sent then uh, to go to the US and I, I did the uh, test pilot training in California with the US Air Force uh, in Ed Edwards Air Force Base. Involved in test flying then for the remains of my uh, Air Force career, uh, which was back at uh, Boscombe Down near Salisbury, where we still have, uh, have our roots. <laughs> so test flying there, both uh, testing and instructing on the test pilot school there. And then I left the Air Force in 94 and uh, became an airline pilot for a few years. So. And I don't think I ever looked at pilots as heroes. I think I looked at them as people I would like to be. I'd like to be doing that job, particularly to be in this position doing it uh, first flight on a, on a significant new airplane is, uh, is a huge privilege. Uh, so I hope people look and think, yeah, you know, I'd like in 20 years time to be doing that, but, but not here, I hope. <laughs>